I did an episode on Claude uh, not that long ago where I was talking a lot of smack about it. I was talking about how Claude um, will gaslight you into thinking that it's written and executed code, but it will actually just tell you what it thinks the result will be without ever running the code. This is a problem, right? So we have two different issues here. One, um, if it does run code, somebody could trick it into running malicious code. And the other is if it doesn't run code, then you're not going to get accurate results. And when someone asks for like an analysis of something, it's going to say all the steps it would go through if it was allowed to run code, but it won't do any of them. So um, that is the conundrum that AI was in until very recently. If I say, write a piece of Python code to make 300 random numbers and then tell me which numbers come up the most often. So I'm giving it a nonsense task. This is just a statistical analysis task. And usually, look at that, it's analyzing. So it's writing code and it's going to execute this code. There we go. OK, so look at that. So um, look at this. So this is this is different. This is new, you guys. Like before, before this, ChatGPT would not have been able to like break out like a little window to do code analysis. It wouldn't be able to write code and then execute it. But here, I told it to write a piece of Python code. And in its own virtualized environment of whatever, it was able to write code, execute that code, get the result of the code, and analyze the code, and then give me the breakdown that I requested. It seems, at least tentatively, like they might have solved um, the gaslighting problem, <laughs> which is incredible.